Hey guys, Chris with Retro Crypt. Jumping right back in, playing. It's called Malak Dark Demon. So it's from the same developers that did Wolf Boy, which is a really, really good game. Um, I played through that a little bit on an earlier stream a couple months back. I think uh, something was wrong with my sound and I just never had it. it so that's another game that I have to play through as well um, just give me one moment I forgot to I usually, if I'm playing more than one game in a day, I post the first video and then start my second. Let's see, where did we leave off? Alright, so we're going to level two. I don't know why this got a mature rating in other games that are s have a lot more going on than this. Don't have that. weird but whatever so as you can see everything is kind of silhouetted it's got this dark look to it Buddy. So X is your sub weapon.
Come on, buddy. Try to kill me. I can't be the only one killing myself. Spoke too soon. I keep messing up my buttons. That's an awkward jump, not gonna lie. You're making this difficult, buddy.
this stuff is back up here. Oh, nice. Yeah, I keep accidentally hitting B to... to uh, swing my sword, but it's A. And conversely, I keep hitting A trying to jump. I'm pretty sure that's classic Nintendo button mapping, but at some point it changed. Or, it didn't change, but some games <sighs> button mapping was different. Or A is jump. I, I don't know. I feel like it's more natural for me, at least, to have jump as A. Wanted to see if you could change the buttons around, but nope. <laughs> Not a big deal. We're just gonna do what we got to do. Sir. Very tight. I'm really surprised there's no collapsing platforms or anything like that because after I walked on the, in that one area, I was like, oh shit, I should have checked before I did that. A little rain effect in the background, that's cool. Or, it's a foreground, really. So this game is reminds me of the original Mario in a sense that like the bad guys that you encounter don't really offer much resistance if any. It's more about the obstacles. 
than your own reaction to them. Seeing like walking into a guy and not hitting him is doesn't really behoove you. It doesn't behoove your strategy. Wow, that's a one-shot kill. Not cool at all. Uh, let me see. I'll give this about 15 more minutes because I got some other things to attend to. Got to get my reading in. I just started The Road by Cormac McCarthy. Finished up Lead Meridian. It was not as good as some people made it out to be. Although I am glad that I read it. Um, this is very slow. I think one good thing that Cormac McCarthy does is um, he does a really good job of kind of setting up the visuals, the you know the background of the the environment of the story, the way he explains stuff. Um, he offers up a lot of good visual cues, which I really liked a lot. It illustrates the story really well. But he does this thing where it's like he doesn't put quotations for anything. Doesn't name his characters, which I mean, I suppose you don't really need to, but. I don't know, I guess he was just going for a, his own thing. He kind of wanted to break traditional literary tropes. Okay, let's not have quotation marks. One thing that bugged me about Blood Meridian was that he used the word and way too much. Instead of just breaking something down into more than one sentence, he would kind of like pad out one idea by using the word and. Like, they had horses and guns and supplies and, like, it almost sounds like when a little kid explains something and, 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 and. You know, not to sound too pretentious myself, or not to sound pretentious myself, because that's not the intention, but that's really just how I, how I was feeling about it. And, and uh, all the reviews that I read, and the uh, reaction videos that I watched, were like this the character of the judge is the most evil person ever, and I'm like, yeah, reading it, I'm like, yeah, he's, he's just kind of a dick. He's not, like, evil, really. He's just a scumbag, you know, he's no more evil than some of the other characters. He's just really upfront about how, how evil he is. Which I, I could actually respect that. Yeah, the story follows the character called The Kid. And The Kid is 
supposedly the main character. At some points I just felt like he was a side character at best. So the book is about essentially, so the kid is born, his mother dies in childbirth, uh, father is an alcoholic, he leaves the father, he's just kind of a wayward soul until he's, he joins the army and they're getting paid essentially to they're getting paid a fee for scalps, for Native American scalps. So yeah, this takes place in the mid 1800s. So that was, you know, a thing. <laughs> I hate saying that there was a thing, but it was. It was, you know, apparently you go and scalp. Uh, rival aggressive tribes and you get paid a fee for their um, for their scalps but at one point it just became the group would go and, and scalp anybody because it's not like they're gonna actually you know check to see if they were the scalps of the enemy so they ended up just killing a bunch of women and children, and at a certain point the kid wants, wants to escape. He, uh, he gets away from the judge for a bunch of years, and then the judge hunts him down, shoots and kills him. Very anticlimactic, I suppose, I don't know, I don't know if... I kind of saw where, to, where it was going, but, and it's not like you need a happy ending to every single story, like, the hero doesn't, because that's, that's real life, the hero, quote unquote, doesn't always win, and sometimes there is really no hero, there's just kind of layers of good and bad, like, the kid was obviously not, no angel himself, but, he kind of got sucked into that way of life after having no guidance. And it's a bit of a cautionary tale. It shows you how you could fall in with the wrong crowd if you don't have uh, like a, a strong home structure. Tales old as time. As they say. gonna die anyway.
nice to have a map, just to know where I'm at. Obviously, you just continue to move to the right, but it would be nice to know if uh, I have a little bit or a lot left. Oh! Fuck. So level two and three are down. Coming back to it in the near future. Can't promise that it'll be tomorrow or the next day, but I will come back. Uh, if you tuned in on the stream, thank you very much. All my socials are there. YouTube.com slash at RetroCrypt. Instagram, RetroCris82. Twitch, RetroCrypt82. Thank you so much. Have a good night. Catch you on the next video. Bye.